Elena! So she was shut down. They would burn them at the stake? I see many Knights of Vale have come to marvel at the cruel spectacle as well. They will not see us from this distance. We are further than imagined. Can't you throw your chakram at them, Albert? Even had I the range to reach, it would not save all three of them. We have no choice but to charge in. The odds of survival against so many are bleak. Such action is not recommended. Yeah, we know that. But we can't just sit here and do nothing. There is no time to mull this over. Letty! She has resolved to die. No! Good people of Osirius, I understand the frustrations of you many who know so little. But know that the current royal family has done nothing to stop the spread of Helgar's disease. Even now, as sickness spreads rampantly across our land, they would thrust us into war with the Vale Empire. The royal family has no regard for the hardships of their loyal subjects. We can suffer their covetous thirst for war not a moment longer. As of this day, the kingdom of Osirius is no more. The lands we stand upon are to be reborn anew as the glorious United Empire of Vale. We can no longer sacrifice our loyal knights and subjects to their war machine. Pray tell, are a single one of you aware who struck the first blow at Baldar? It was none other than the forces under the command of King Osirius himself. His Excellency, Emperor Baldor, has called for reconciliation between our nations. Yet Princess Leticia refuses his offer, as does her father, the King. If we stand by and allow them to rule, then we do not but fan the flames of war, sentencing countless of our own to needless death. By our actions here today, we bring peace. Damn it, I can't believe this! Though the odds be against us, we must act. Confound it! Nothing good ever comes from involvement with the royal family. <gasps> Wait! Theo! Today marks the dawn of a new dynasty headed by Duke Lumbert Clemrath. The past must burn! Stay your hand! Father, Chancellor Neon, I beseech you, leave the execution of His Majesty and Princess Leticia to me! I will not allow any of you to lay another finger on my little sister! Quite the valor. He is outnumbered. He will soon be overwhelmed. Okay, it's now or never. I'm gonna use the crowd to get to Elena. Wait, Ray! Is it possible for me to wake her up? What? It'll be too late by the time we reach her. But what if I fly in with Duma from here? From this far away? That's nuts! Not if we use this. In the hands of a skilled Semiomancer, this ore is a catalyst for levitation. Are you up to the task? I'll do my best. Okay, Ray? Right. You've got this. Slap this on the back of Elena's head for three seconds. That's it. Duma, you stick close to Nina. Understood. Leave it to me. I'm going in! Nina! How? I'll tell you later! Helena! Ray's plan is too reckless by half. Your Majesty, are you alright? Quite, yes. <sighs> Quit gawking! Kill them! Sir, we're under attack! What? 
charge! Captain Birch? All right, let's join the party. of Osirius. Follow after Her Highness, Leticia Osirius! Time to head straight to... Right with me. It is time this chaos was put to an end. Destroy. Neon, what are you two doing? Colonel Valange! Could that be? Oh, yep. Looks like this bastard's another one of the fear helping the Empire. You stay out of this! The princess's life is mine! Prepare to withdraw. Neon has lost control. Understood, Colonel. Wait! You would truly abandon us to this chaos? <laughs> you and the boy can see yourselves out of this mess. Blast it! We cannot let them get away! That is true. However, I doubt these two will simply let us pass. The orchestrators of the coup shall not be permitted to flee! Silence your tongue! You believe I shall sit idly by and let some pampered princess thwart my plans? I'll <laughs> Once and for all. Oh, will not be put to waste here! I need to Let this be your end. You know how to work that one. Stay on. We're outmatched. Now it's time to fall back. Not how it was meant to be. Neon, lay down your arms! Just what happened here? Looks like you've had a time of it. There were a few bumps we didn't account for. Well, you're the one who has to give the Emperor the bad news. Hey, what is this, coffee hour? Do you think you're actually gonna get away? Pardon me. We actually will be getting away this easily. This... 
is not over yet. We have much to deal with here. Princess Leticia, I have shamed my name and post by allowing this. You have not to apologize for, Captain. Without your help, we could have never stopped Neon's plot. That may be true, but this Bedlam hasn't recovered in the slightest. Gosh, Uncle Midas, always so quick to be a downer. But he speaks the truth. Should the Empire come calling, we will not last the night. We lack soldiers, officers, barely not on hand. Theo did help save Leticia's life. Can't you lighten his punishment? He was in league with the enemy and harmed the royal family. I doubt many men should like to serve under his ilk. It was Theo and Neon who conspired at the laboratory on Mount Cotterinth as well. He is beyond pardon. That fool! Only our team from the Semiomancy Consortium is left uncrippled by this battle. If we have Semiomancers, what about using the Fulga? It was originally designed to be used by Semiomancers, right? Out of the question. Now isn't the time to be so stubborn. We do not have adequate time. You trust the Empire to sit idle while we sail a ship to Nilbeth? Retrieve the Levitas Ore, then return to construct a full Falga Battalion to be combat ready? How much time do you suppose that might take? I do not state this lightly. It will take three months at the very least just to get the number of Falga at hand airborne and ready for combat. Impossible, then. If Baldar moves to attack, we would not last three days. Leticia, tell me. What are these Fulga you all now speak of? It is merely a foolish old dream. Pay it no heed. No. I truly feel it would be beneficial for Father and Captain Bertrand to see it. Director Malthea? Very well, then. Please, let us all continue this conversation at the Semiomancy Consortium. Take worst. a burst. What is this? The Fulga. Ships built for Semiomancers to sail through the skies. It sails not waters, but winds? When did you build such a thing? And Leticia, you knew of this? I did. Forgive me. If only I had properly lent you my ear then. I pity any who would bet the future of their kingdom on this. The Falga was not conceived to be a weapon. It is useless. 
My people in Nilbath should be ready to transport the Levitas ore by now. The ship from Canis's attack yet remains. If we take one ship from Kado, we can return with two. Who will commandeer the other vessel? Leave that to me. It should prove simple to oversee those efforts upon my return to Nilbath. The danger is too great. You need not oblige yourself to the kingdom to such a... If I disregard the danger facing Osirius now, the Empire's fangs will sink into Nilbath ere long. I am not one to slink away in fear while my allies are in peril. You would forgive an old man his misdeeds and blunders? Your Majesty may not be the panacea to soothe this ailing world, but you recognize that a kingdom is its people. Your Majesty, you did all you could at the time. You should suffer no guilt over having not done enough. But know that I will seek recompense for our efforts. Starting with the restoration of Midas's good name. Uh, all that withstanding, our one obstacle is modulation of the converter. How long might it take to calibrate it to run even at minimum efficiency? A beautiful, if unrefined, piece of machinery. What a joy it would be to fly this through a sky full of stars. Again, you... Will you allow me to help protect the skies of this land? This world shouldn't have to suffer the spread of the Empire's dark influence any longer. What do you intend? Excuse me, Nina. May I see that ore? This would work, and withstand use in the mechanism. We just need a demonstration of its simple energy output. I would expect proper calibration time to take 10 days at most. You continue to baffle me. Okay, great. Even if that's possible, how do we buy 10 days worth of time? Well, while I was yet captive, Neon made me a proposal. Have you gone quite mad, Leticia? Out of the question. Is there another option left us, Father? No, but... The Imperial family of Vale wishes for me to join in matrimony with the Crown Prince, Gerard. I believe I may grant their request. Y you mean you're gonna get married? Indeed. I do not doubt preparations for a ceremony binding the heirs of our kingdoms should buy us ample time. Captain Bertrand, please send an envoy to the Imperial forces at Baldar. Let them know that Leticia Osarius would be overjoyed to accept the proposal of marriage to Crown Prince Gerard Eel Vale. I've been meaning to ask, did Theo really say something about Veer? Apparently, that is what those beings with the horns and sickly pallor call themselves. There's a planet in the Pangalactic Federation with the same name. You tell me the Feds are in cahoots with the Empire? We can't say for certain yet. At this time, we only know that those three are involved at the very least. Maybe they're in the same situation we are? You think they also became stranded on this planet somehow? But found sanctuary with the Empire instead? At this point, all we can do is feel conjecture. I shall see what I can uncover there while the wedding preparations are underway. I highly doubt the Empire will allow you to roam about freely. That matter aside, you know naught of the world of stars above. What if me and Elena went disguised as your attendants? Neon would be on to our ruse immediately. What if I went along with her? What? As far as Neon and the Veer know, I'm just a deviceless former prisoner of war who doesn't know a thing about this world. Are you sure, Chloe? They won't suspect a thing if I'm the only one with you, right? Please, 
Let me return all the kindness you've shown Ray and Elena. Very well. You have my full trust. <laughs> Seriously? How will you inform us of what you find out? There will be no need for any remote relay. The Fulga will embark on its maiden flight to recover both Chloe and myself. We can then use the intelligence Chloe and I return with to put a decisive end to the Empire. Everyone, I hope to have you all at my side in the fight to come. Hail, Crown Prince Gerard! Brave soldiers of Asarius, mark this day. For here we take our first steps beyond our nation's troubled history and into a future made radiant by peace. I am Leticia Asarius. The launch. I will send an envoy to inform you when the date of the ceremony is decided. Hail, Her Highness Princess Leticia! Let us be off, Chloe. Yes, my lady. Watch your backs out there. 